Good morning and welcome to Be Better, Be Better at Business TV. I'm Jamie Gorman with Sigma Business Management and we're here this morning with John Stewart of Vantage Economics. Good morning, John. How are Good you? Morning. Good. How are you? Why don't you start, John, by just telling us a little bit about Vantage Economics, kind of what you do and, and uh, what your background is a little bit. Uh, well, I'm an economic consultant, uh, which basically makes me a data guru for businesses. Okay. Uh, I've been an economist for over 20 years now, uh, had experience with the Department of Labor, but now working mostly with uh, private firms, doing a lot of forecasting with them, a lot of strategy analysis, uh, doing a lot of projections, risk analysis, uh, and the like. Good, good. And I know you have your blog also at, at uh, VantageEconomics.com, yes. uh, so yeah. that's great. Okay. Um, Alyssa, we have a, another question. Um, we have a lot of small, medium business viewers, so what's the... Uh... I can't seem for the life of me to get a loan from my bank for new equipment. Mm -hmm. I want to purchase. Um, a situation I hear from a lot of other business owners. Is anyone going to help with this problem? Yeah, I just had somebody tell me... Uh, Two days ago, I think it was, that they went to the bank for a pretty simple commercial loan and just got nothing, you know, got nothing, <laughs> no loan exactly. there, you know? Exactly, yeah. What's the, uh, you know, and that's kind of, we expected that a little bit more in 2009, 2010, but as right. we're kind of coming around, uh, things stabilize a little bit. You're hoping to get uh, maybe a little bit of... A little bit of love from the banks there. What's going on with small, medium business? No love. No <laughs> love. Uh, banks have risk too. And as we see this anemic recovery, businesses continue, uh, small businesses especially, continue to have problems. And if they're having problems, that means that banks are going to have problems loaning to them. Now, we've seen some freeing up of money okay. to small businesses, but still the growth remains among large businesses, right. right? Which makes sense if you're looking at it from the perspective of the bank, because there's less risk for them to loan money to a larger They're more company. diversified. They They're got more diversified. They've, they've got, got market share. They've got pipeline. They've got customers that they can draw on. That's exactly right. Okay. Um, so it's much harder uh, for small to medium-sized businesses to get those loans. So you've got to do, one of the things is to do the due diligence, right? Okay. You've got to do your homework. You've got to go into a bank very well prepared uh, and have all your T's crossed and I's dotted. Okay. Uh, it helps to bring in, I, I've helped with that as well with small to medium sized businesses right. in terms of their negotiations with banks. Because I can, you can bring in a third party view of your internal data. Right. You can do your forecasts, you can look at risks, and you, can, you want to bring somebody in that can uh, speak with the bankers. They can right. talk their talk, right? Yeah. You can talk the numbers, you can do all these things. A lot of business owners don't necessarily feel comfortable doing right. that. So if you can bring in a third party that's a non-partial view, as well as be able to talk to somebody on their level, that will help in that process. And I, I know, you know, just because I know you, I know you do a lot with industry research as well. And that's so right. yeah. I'm sure that probably helps a little bit in the process is, you know, having somebody come in and talk about where the industry is going. And Absolutely. the region, right? Absolutely. Because, you know, you might have a national economy that's doing one thing, but the local economy could be a lot different. I know we saw that here in Northern Virginia. Uh, we were, our e economic crisis was a lot different from Detroit or Las Vegas Absolutely. or some of those other, other uh, locations. Right, They're, yeah, you take a look at those different geographic components and that can have a large uh, impact on your business. And that actually brings us back also to diversification. Right. It might not only be the industry that you diversify to or away from, it could be a specific geographic location. Yeah. So there's a lot of marketing information that's available, a lot of science, a lot of data that's available uh, that you can look at in order to pinpoint specific geographic areas that right. you want to start marketing more aggressively to. Yeah. Or even a avoid. Yeah. Right. Uh, and we see that even with some of these crises. You know, right. it, people think that it's abstract, but it's really not. Uh, I just did a blog yesterday on the impact that the European crisis could have on local geographies. Uh, so you look at uh, a place like Japan, if Japan were to fail, I right. know that's not part of Europe, but if Greece fails, that's going to have a significant impact on Japan because they hold a lot of Greek right. debt. Got it. So transportation, uh, you know, the areas that, that in, in the Midwest, Ohio and Detroit, 
those areas that, that are heavily involved with transportation manufacturing right. could be significantly impacted. Okay. And then again, you take a look at, well, if I'm selling to these industries, or if I have a client that I sell to directly that sells to those industries, right. that's going to have, that's eventually that's going to have an impact on my business. Okay. Great. So uh, one other thing I wanted to ask you about is the job market. I know some job reports have come out and uh, maybe good, maybe bad. You know, I know right. that, that uh, you, we've had that discussion about that, hey, just because unemployment's down doesn't necessarily mean uh, That's that, right. that, it, that it did that. So where's the employment at? You know, where's the job market and, and where's that? Yeah, the, the, there's uh, the Fed's talking about, you'll hear it in the news. I won't go into detail on it, but uh, uh, they, they talk about their issues with interest rates being uh, already low. Uh, and a liquidity trap. Right. We're actually more, I think, in a consumer trap, right? Okay. That is, businesses need consumers to spend more money so that they'll hire more, but consumers aren't going to spend more until they see more hiring. Right. <laughs> so it's this, it's this trap that, and jobs are the pivotal issue. Last month, though, we only saw 96,000 jobs created. In order to really start drawing down the unemployment rate, in a real and significant way, and I'll tell you what I mean by that in a moment. We've got to see job growth of 300,000, 350,000 wow. every month. Okay. Over the last three months, we've only been averaging less than 100,000. Okay. So it's very weak. Now, like you said, well, you know, the unemployment rate kind of jumps around. What does that mean? We saw the unemployment rate tick down slightly last right. month, but that was primarily due to the fact that people left the labor force. Okay. So it's the definition of unemployment that's that's really moving this. If you're yeah. looking for a job but don't have one, right? right. Uh, but you suddenly stop looking for a job, you're no longer counted as unemployed. Right. Uh, okay. So the the number dropped mostly because people left the workforce, not because they found a job. So yeah, so probably a little bit discouraged. So it's really. I guess and it's an unemployment rate, but it's really not the same as the number of people who aren't employed, right? That, that, that's exactly right. It's really it, unemployment. It's you have to be looking for work to be considered in that report. So if you that's right. get frustrated or something happens and you figure out something else and, and so you're not actively looking for work, then you're not in that number of unemployment. So exactly. that adds up to do. Okay. Exactly. Well, good. Under, understanding that number, I think, is, is good for all of us to, to be able to do so. Right. Good. Well, yeah, once again, thanks for coming. I, and I love uh, working with John because one of the things he does is, you know, I work with businesses for planning and marketing and those types of things. And the economy is one factor in that. And so just things like, hey, if we see something in the healthcare industry, but we're over here in, in the, you know, government sector, right. what can we do to maybe create a channel and to create and go into uh, different markets and how do we change our marketing and our specific advertising and make those daily decisions that kind of fit into that plan that's going to transition you to really to help you be better at business and that's what we're all about absolutely so uh, we'll see you uh, next week next friday morning 11 a.m eastern time uh, here on be better business tv